Oh. Hi, Stinky. What? I'm going to your car. All right, so interestingly enough, at about 10.15 this morning, the charging was interrupted on my car and the power went off in our unit. So I think the guy who kind of like does the maintenance here unplugged my car and shut off the power to our unit because he didn't want me charging. So yeah, just be careful what you plug in, I guess. So right now I have 187 miles. So what happens is right now it doesn't have me stopping at any superchargers. There's two superchargers on the way home plus the one near my house. So I'm, I'm not worried. I'm probably going to pop into one anyways um, to grab some food, something to drink. But it says I can't get home with 5% battery left. But it also does pop up with a warning when it recalculated. But then also... Up here, there's a little warning that says, stay under 65 miles an hour to reach destination. So that's just saying, uh, sort of, if you go over 65 miles an hour, you're probably gonna be using more energy uh, than you would if you were driving slower because obviously at higher speeds, you have more wind resistance, which is gonna slow down the car and therefore you need to keep using more power to keep that speed and maintain that speed, blah, 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 blah. So either way, you're gonna burn through more battery. So they're just advising that to make sure that you reach your destination. However, there are supercharged on the way, so I'm gonna stop in one, so it's not really a big deal. But that did happen to me one other time. Um, and I'm sure, actually, if I cancel this trip, oh, excuse me. Oh. If I actually cancel this trip right now because I'm only getting home with 5%, I think that if I recalculate the trip, it will actually add a supercharger. If you don't have enough battery or it thinks that you should stop the supercharge, then it will add superchargers to your trip. And like I've said in another video, it helps to go to a further supercharger so you have less battery when you get there because then the car will charge faster. So as your truck car fills up, the superchargers do slow down. So just be mindful of that when you're on long road trips because you're going to get more miles per amount of time you wait if your battery is lower. So if you wait 30 minutes, you might get, I don't know, 100 miles versus Drive only... West on Ocean Gateway for 8.9 miles. You might get, you know, 100 miles versus only 60 miles, depending on if you stop when your battery is lower or if your battery is more full and you stop earlier on. So, you know, you start to learn the ins and outs, you know, once you've had your Tesla for a little bit. But. So it's kind of interesting that it says that. I don't really know why it tells you what you would be at if you did a round trip. Maybe so that if there are no superchargers, it basically says like, oh, you're not, you're not making it back to here. No chance. <laughs> um, but I don't know. So it's still actually not telling me to stop at a supercharger because I can get home with 8% battery. And I think the reason here is because I'm going home. Like, like you can plug in your address and put like, you know, a home link, your garage door opener. So it knows your address. So because it knows that like the address I put in is my actual house address, maybe it just assumes that I can charge there. I'm not sure. Which I can. I can obviously plug into an outlet, but like I said, I don't have a wall outlet, so it's super slow. So I am gonna pop in a supercharger, probably in Kent Narrows. I think there's one at like Royal Farms. It's like 12, 12 supercharger stalls. So I'm gonna let's pop in there on the way home. <laughs> Second cop that it, that it said there was. So, yeah. Um, 
But speaking of cops, I hate people that drive, you know, white Impalas or either all white or all black Impalas or like Chargers because you don't know if it's unmarked cop car. Like, you know, get some different color, get some, you know, markings on it or something. Because from far away, you can't tell. Once you get close, obviously, you can usually start to tell. You know, you look for the antennas, you look for lights. Um, usually, they don't have, like, the standard badging on the back, so it won't say, like, I don't know, like, it won't have, like, the RT kit or whatever on, like, the charger and the pump. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That's probably been riling around. Uh, oh, there we go. Um, so you probably don't have any of that badging. So, but, but you have to be close to know that. If you're not close, you don't know. You don't know, guys. You don't know. I mean, obviously, that doesn't it doesn't affect me. You know, I keep it right at the speed limit. I'm good to go. But you know, just well, the drivers on the road. You know, sometimes they're doing a mile over an hour, one mile an hour over the speed limit. You know, they might be worried. They can be pulled over. You never know. So, the same, just saying. You know, I hate people that drive those cars. So, you know, don't don't buy those. Tesla superchargers. This is crazy. As you can see, most of these superchargers you have to back into, but there is one right there, and there's also one right here. And the reason they're like that is so when you pull in straight to the right of them, you can basically pull in head on and you have to back in. So it's nice for some people. I guess it makes it easier. Um, but I feel like most Tesla owners are pretty good at backing up because I'd say the majority of superchargers you do have to back into. Yeah. All right, let's get a charge going. Whoa. Good old Rofo. Rofa, Rofa. Taking up all the Tesla superchargers over there. I mean, I get it. There's more over here, but like, come on, come on, really? Ah, obviously, we got a real milk here. Mm -mm, mm, mm. Oh man, yeah, that hits the spot. All right, well, we have plenty of battery. You can get home for 32 percent. I'm just gonna eat, eat a little something, something real quick. Oh god, I hope this isn't too messy. It's definitely no Wawa, I'll tell you that much. Wawa is much, much better than this, so. Yeah, yeah. I also don't get the whole Rofo thing. Like, it's Royal Farms. Shouldn't it be like Rofa? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. A little food blog coming your way right about now. That's a lot of sauce. That is a lot of sauce. I'm gonna eat. This is, this is what we come home to. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five deer. One being a baby. The other ones are kind of tiny, but. Whoa, big guy. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Stop eating our grass. That's our good grass. Go, get, scat. Yeah, there you go. Trot off. Anywho, guys, uh, yeah, we made it home. Uh, my car now has 83,847 miles on it, so... <whistles> yep. Obviously, Callie's not here to walk. But we got this little gem. This little fatty here. She welcomed me, right? She likes her belly rubs. Yeah, you do. All right. Little kitty cat. A fat little kitty cat. Aw. Aw. How you doing? Want your belly rubbed? Not right now. I'll see you later. Bye, Bella. Uh, also, also, Tesla mobile unit, uh, little thing, 
little thing about them. Uh, obviously, I, I, well, not obviously, the vlog's right there, so you guys haven't seen this yet, and you will have seen this by the time you see this vlog, though, you'll see that vlog, because I'm uploading that vlog as I'm making this vlog. So, either way, uh, Tesla mobile unit uh, came out to my house, as you can see in that other vlog. Pretty interesting stuff. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It is vlog 147. So, enjoy, guys. But anyways, I'm, I'm heading out to kickball, so this, this might be it. If it is, thanks for watching. If it's not, you guys see this? The deer are back. The deer are all back with their babies and everything. Sheesh. This guy. What happened to the Ford? What Ford? <laughs> no, I'd rather have this Ford Mr. Rock. The fans are really blowing up there, huh? Yeah, it's because I got these, uh... Is that the AC? Yeah, I got these LED lights on the front. And and it they like have, pulls power? Yeah, they have, well, they have mini fans. It doesn't really, it doesn't crush the power. Oh, the LED lights have fans. Yeah, because I used to have, like, the HID kit. Uh, Drew and I were the only two that showed up to kickball, so, well, that kind of goes without saying. We were forced to forfeit slash we just kind of both left and we realized that, well, no one was coming, so, I don't know. Hopefully next week everyone will show up. It was it was weird. I don't really know anybody else on the team. I don't have anybody's contact information, number, anything like that, so my one friend kind of knows everybody else, and he was away this weekend at the beach with his girlfriend, so there was no communication. So yeah, no kickball, no kickball. Uh, so I just did uh, a nice run, which I haven't done in a while. So I'm already so sore. Got to really start working out again. I have three weeks or so before I start my job. Um, kind of nervous, kind of excited, and um, no, I am. I am excited. I, I'm not kind of. I'm, I'm excited. I'm. I'm kind of nervous though. So, you know, it's obviously doing something that I don't really have background in, so we'll see how it goes. And uh, maybe I'll do a full review of my boot camp experience and, and all that stuff. So, I guess until then, um, I'm going over to let Chelsea's dogs outside because she is working late at an event. Anywho, I think that's it for today, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the beach. No kickball, so I just went for a run, but thanks for watching. Um, just real quick, I don't know if you guys can see me or not, but uh, so just real quick, I'm getting a software update for my car, which is awesome. This is something that Tesla obviously does over the air update.